I've known Mark for many years through the study abroad office. And he is the unusual student who has combined an engineering degree with a humanities degree. He is a double major in mechanical and aerospace engineering and Russian language and literature. That to me is pretty impressive and it shows that he has recognized that learning a second language and becoming globally competent are really vital elements to an engineering career. And he knew how to use his talent, his intelligence, and his energy to take advantage of everything academic, leadership-wise, service-wise that OSU has to offer to really put together a magnificent portfolio, a magnificent educational portfolio. He is just a fine example of a student who knows how to use and who uses all of OSU's wonderful academic resources. One of the most important things I learned at OSU straight off the bat is that there was no real difference between future and OSU. It was all the one. It was all the same to me. So I, I never looked at it as a place I was studying before leaving into the world. My time at OSU was also time in the world um, with OSU serving as a wonderful home base. So the future is now for me, so to speak, and I couldn't be more prepared. I've had a few experiences out in the world where I realize just how different our perspective is here uh, in Stillwater. And I've never felt so much like a cowboy as when I was uh, in a rather important interview in a rather important place and I realized that people were caring about appearances over success. They were caring about egos over um, actual results. And I felt both proud to be a cowboy and uh, nervous at how big the difference is between out there and here. One of the most uh, touching moments for me at Oklahoma State uh, was how the entire university seemed to come together over the passing of my brother, who was a fellow student in engineering. And uh, after David's death, I, I had an enormous outpouring of support from uh, not just my advisors, or not just my unofficial advisors, but from student groups, from administration, um, from departments. It was really incredible, and it was one of the most important things in my life at the time to recommit to staying at OSU and uh, knowing that a place that could provide that sort of support is a place worth committing to. I've had the chance at OSU to take uh, piano with a wonderful professor, Dr. Thomas Landers, and here I am during my first uh, study abroad in Russia with a newly unveiled statue of my favorite composer in the city of Novgorod. I had an internship in Central Asia and uh, it was the summer before my first big cross-country season with the team, so I trained every day up in the mountains above the apartment blocks where I lived before work. This is me with the other Allen Scholars in the first courtyard of Pembroke College, Cambridge, uh, where all four of us will either be studying now or next year. Uh, this is the senior class, the graduating class of 2012 for track and cross country. Between us we have, I believe, about nine All-American certificates and I think about 23 conference titles. I didn't win any of those, but uh, I've been very proud to run with these amazing friends.